Hey, what's happening, guys? Uh, it was quite a week. I apologize for missing those days, but when you have heart trouble and, uh, and you have a problem, they just kind of come up out of the blue. I was actually uh, throwing the football around with my son when it started, so yeah, still here. Glad to be here. Appreciate you guys sticking around. And, uh, yeah, Thanksgiving's coming up and the holiday season's here upon us. And you know what that means. Super cheap gifts are out in all the stores. Everything from the little uh, triangle test your IQ puzzles to the whistle key finder. You know, you find these everywhere. This is from uh, the dollar store. And it doesn't even feel like there's anything in here. I hope there is. I thought it might be interesting to take a look at the circuitry that's in this and how they did it, how is it implemented because you know they obviously want to implement it as cheaply as possible and then take a look at how I would do it and we'll see what uh, what's what so let's see if it works. There we go. Can you even hear that? Let's try again. That is so quiet that I don't know how that would ever help you find your keys. But anyway, so there's that. Now, where is my pen? Uh, Donde esta mi lapicero? My son is taking Spanish now that he's in high school, and I get, I'm getting a chance to uh, practice my Spanish that I haven't spoken in 30 years. So, mucho gusto. All right. Mi lapicero está aquí. How would I do it? Well, probably something like this. Um, start with a microphone. And then uh, a diode to rectify the microphone. Because a microphone is going to produce you know, an AC wave. And all we're really looking for is a voltage. And... throw that into an op amp with uh, some negative feedback for a boost and then through another op amp as a comparator to turn on the whistle and then our loudspeaker on the other end that's how I would do it I mean not if I was doing it professionally that's just my you know back of the napkin idea of how I would do it so let's take it apart and see how they did it so what they said happened to me was a hypertensive crisis I don't know how high my blood pressure got to but apparently it got quite high and caused me to black out ended up in the ER and then you know they checked my records and found out about the CHF I ended up stuck there for a few days until they were sure I wasn't going to be dropping dead on the way home from their ER because that looks bad on their um success and failure rates all right so we've got a glob top here now let's get this out and we'll put it on the mic on them under the microscope unfortunately the microscope is not cooperating right now so we'll have to do it mark one mod zero eyeball anyway let's take a look at what we've got going on we've got two button cell batteries 
couple of wires that are going to our sound device, a switch, an LED, I assume another switch on the other side of the board, and a glop top so that we can't know what the actual circuitry going on in there is. That's a shame. I wanted to see how they did it. Now, what you have to realize is that's all there is here, okay? There's, there's a switch on the other side of the board, and that's it. So there's nothing here to distinguish between a whistle, or a clap, or any noise. So they're probably using some form of a comparator. Now, here's the first departure from my plan. I was going to use a microphone. They've used a piezo. Cheaper and easier. And it doesn't need to be rectified. It just outputs a voltage. So that's good. Now we've got our switch here, and if you look right there at that joint, there's no solder on it. <laughs> Not good. Then we have our glop top, which of course we can't see. And on the other side, nothing but another switch. So this is definitely as cheaply as it can be possibly made, but, you know, it works. Although, the beeping is not that loud. I would wish for it to be louder. So, let's find out what sets it off. Whistle. Yep. How about a clap? No, so it, it does distinguish a whistle. Interesting. So, my idea of it being... Just a voltage driven. Somehow they've got a, a, a frequency element in there. Very interesting. Okay, well, we've got it all put back together and in its shell. And that's going back in here. And by George, that's going to be somebody's Christmas present. Somebody that I don't like so well. <laughs> Um, five bucks is a little expensive for this, but this, these are the first generation ones. You know, there's no discrimination for a whistle or a clap. Just about any sound that's going to cause the comparator to trip is going to set it off. But, you know, it's useful for what it does these days, you know. It's just as easy to get one with Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or even GPS. <laughs> All right, hey, total new system going on here. New PC, new editing software, everything is new. I would like your opinion on how it looks, how I sound. You know, feel free to chime in. I mean, I make this for you guys, so if there's something you'd like to see changed, let me know. Other than that, feel free to like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. And happy to be alive. Peace.